One of the great feature of the handles tool is the ability to add buttons right here inside our screen view. For example, if you take a look at this asset package called Curvy, it has this nice buttons right here inside the scene view. It is really helpful in level creation and if your game involves a lot of tweaking on procedural objects and if you are continuously using prefabs to design your scene. Adding a button is really simple compared to the rest of the things that we have been doing with handles. The only thing that you have to take care is that inside your on scene GUI function where you write rest of your handle script we just add a pair of handles dot begin GUI and its pair handles dot end GUI between these two blocks of begin GUI and end GUI you can write your normal GUI functions like your editor GUI, editor GUI layout even GUI layout and your GUI functions and they will be drawn in your scene view just like you are used to drawing GUI elements for your custom inspectors or your windows so when you draw uh, when you write anything between these two lines it will be drawn with the drawing area considered to be your complete scene view so let's start by drawing a simple button uh, and we will keep it between the GUI layout begin vertical and the uh, end vertical blocks. This is just to uh, use the uh, automatic layout system provided by Unity. And we can start with the simplest of the GUI elements, which is the GUI label. And now we can see that that label will be drawn in the scene view, considering this as the this uh, rectangle as the drawing area. So that was really easy. Now let's add a button similar to. Uh, any normal button inside our custom inspector will write GUI layout dot button and just name it test and we in the in real function we'll call a simple function but here let's just call a debug to test this button So here is our button in our scene view but as clearly evident one problem that you can see is that the in the automatic GUI layout system all the GUI elements try to take as much space as possible. So one of the method to make this button of uh, a desirable size that are talked in the GUI layout system was to use the GUI layout options like uh, GUI layout dot uh, maximum uh, width or GUI layout dot uh, maximum height but this time I will tell you another method to organize these buttons and limit their width or height so what we are going to use is the GUI layout dot begin area begin area and its complementary end area begin area and its complementary end area define a rectangular piece of uh, inside your drawing area and anything written between these two blocks will be drawn only inside those areas so if you are using a vertical layout system and if you have defined a particular rectangle any everything will be drawn to completely inside that rectangle it won't overflow the area defined by the begin area block and the begin area takes a rectangle as its input inside which all the GUI elements will be drawn. So let's give it a rectangle in the top left corner of our scene view which will be 
200 and let's height to be 500 so now anything uh, I write inside this block would be drawn only inside this the area defined by this rectangle so now my test is limited to a box which starts from 20 20 and 200 and 500 let's add more button and make it similar to the curvy asset package so to do that the first thing we would want to do is make our buttons a little bit more square shaped so first we have to limit the change the our begin area so let's make the width to be 60 and uh, this way we can control the width of all of our buttons inside the area block but we still have to control the height of our button so let's uh, change the height of our buttons to be of about 50 we can do that by specifying our GUI layout option GUI layout dot minimum height to be 50 this will ex expand the height of uh, all those buttons so they are at least 50 and we have controlled the width of our buttons by controlling the width of our area inside which all these buttons reside so let's just copy these buttons and now we have uh, now we will have five uh, five buttons all with a height of 50 and since they are all contained inside a specified area of width 60 so they all will have a width of 60 let's make it 50 so that it's a perfect square right so now we have square buttons just like in the curvy asset package and let's test our buttons with the uh, debug.log message right so this was a small tutorial on, on how you can add buttons directly inside your scene view it is uh, mostly useful in level creation or in your procedural contents.